So this is a Stay Right Dynamo. Oh, probably about five years old almost, four or five years old. And I'm getting a late start uh, to get my pull open. Should already probably have it open because now there's going to be algae in it, but that's okay. We'll have videos as I clean that. This uh, strainer broke here and I had to get a new one. So that's why I've delayed and I've got my new one right here. Um, so I'm just going to show, we'll put this thing on here, this brand new one, and then we'll uh, go ahead and hook it up and start filling the water up and at least get the pump running. So now I've got the new one on so that this will go on there. And that's the second time this has broken this pump. This is not cheap. It's about 85, 65 to 85 bucks for just this little plastic strainer. But still, nonetheless, better than buying a whole new pump. So now I'll just go ahead and put it back on its pedestal. Actually, before putting it back on its pedestal, it's easier to get this hose on now because once it's on the ground, you can't turn this long hose and it's kind of put together. So I'm going to put that on first. And there she is. Uh, the new one is uh, hooked up. Got the hose hooked up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding water to the pool. It's not completely full. Let this fill up, but we'll test it out. So we got a little rust on the pool when I started filling it up and noticed water is draining out of the pool and flooding the ground. So let's go ahead and fix that. I started to look real quick and noticed a slit right there. As I started filling it up and that water's coming out. Is that pretty high? So I removed the cover because I haven't completely removed the cover yet this year. And I'm gonna go ahead and patch it up. And I was out of patches, so I ran to Ace. You can get these at Ace, Walmart, Amazon, pool stores, or whatever. Just got me a little cheap kit. They're under 10 bucks, 5 to 10 bucks. And I'm going to go ahead and patch it up. And I want to kind of round the edges. Actually, I'm going to round the whole thing. Make a small little round patch. Like that. Look at that water is pouring out there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this oops go ahead and see if we can't get this leak stop but this quite liberally on here and then quickly I'm gonna put it over the hole. Hold it here for a while. I already heard the water stopped coming out. It says on the bottom I put a heavy weight or something to try to hold it down. And they have some of these that are just peel and stick, or you can use the adhesive ones. I use the adhesive one here, and it goes underwater. And if this patch fails, I can always put a bigger one over this patch. But I'm just going to hold this for just a little longer to put pressure on it. Once you get a leak, you're probably going to get more, but hopefully that holds up 
If it don't, we'll fix it again later. As you can see, yep, looks good for now. So, good job. So we got it all back together and unfortunately got a little leak here. So I'm gonna have to take it back apart and uh, check that out. You know, you could try to tighten it, but it's not. I'll take this apart and we're gonna add a little bit of this uh, to it and see if this don't uh, this pipe thread don't solve that so I'm gonna take this all apart real quick and try a second time and there it is all back together no leaks everything looks good uh, next week I'm gonna be uh, getting a part in an offline fluorinator and I will be uh, putting one line here on the return back to the pull and I'm gonna put one on there and there'll be a chlorinator here in the middle uh, where I'll be able to put my chlor. So you might want to stay tuned for that. Be sure and subscribe uh, because I'll be having a video on that here in the coming days. Um, also whenever I did do this um, a strainer a repair uh, I left out there was a washer I had to put on there to stop it from leaking that I originally forgot to do didn't get that in the video So be sure if you have any washers you put those on there It was not on the new part So I had to take the washer off the old part put it on the new part and I was good to go and there was no leak So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. My name's John I'll see you guys in the next video and y'all guys have a great day and it's a swimming season uh, Enjoy the weather